Hey, people. So, as you can tell, getting closer, um, I wanted to do uh, this quick uh, update. I know I'm pretty much just doing that right now. It's kind of where my head's at. Um, and uh, a couple things I wanted to talk about. First thing is, as of tomorrow, as I make a bunch of noise with my fidget spinner. Yes, I own a fidget spinner. and I've tried it as a BDSM toy. Mm, not really, not really the greatest, but <laughs> that was it. This is bought for that sole purpose and, you know, I've found that, you know, playing with it is actually pretty okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, as of tomorrow, I'm walking into the uh, office here and I'm signing a piece of paper and as of the 1st of uh, September I'm no longer responsible for this room or this apartment or anything in Utah I'm done it's over end of story I as of, as of tomorrow when I sign that piece of paper I have to move out by the beginning, by the 1st of September. And honestly, I'm very excited. I'm absolutely very excited. Yeah, I'm really excited to get to Dandy. Um, I got a call today about a uh, an interview, um, and I guarantee I can, you know, once I get a little closer uh, this week, I'm going to do more uh, trying to get get the job set up and uh, yeah so um, and I do need to respond to on my last update video somebody left a comment and you know I, I think I wound up deleting it but I do want to respond to it here um, I do these videos because I want to. I do these videos because it's what I, this is what I enjoy doing. I enjoy talking about this subject. And I, you know, if somebody asks me a question, nine times out of ten I'll be able to do a response. Uh, either a text response, you know, back through an email or a direct message or I'll do a video. Occasionally, things get lost. Things happen where, because of these um, circumstances, you know, yeah, suddenly I've swapped over to a Sharpie. Uh, things happen where I'm not able to respond to questions. Let me kind of explain something about this YouTube thing that I'm doing. Um, I don't make any money off of this. I've made a total of $100 in 10 years. That's less than $10 a year. If somebody was paying you $10 a year to do anything, How would you feel? For me, I don't care. This channel has brought me a hell of a lot more in personal connections and relationships and friendships and opportunities to talk with amazing people and be around amazing people and do, do a lot more. And that's what I'm planning on doing with the future. Uh, with the new channel that's going to be opening up. Uh, and the thing about it is, is that what, you know, what I'm doing here, this is not my life. My life is my relationship. My life is my job. My life is, you know, all of the other stuff that I do. This, this is important. But it's not, you know, there's a, there's a lot of YouTubers where this, talking to a camera, this is their job. 
this is their life. This is how they get paid to be able to afford to live in a place or to, you know, to get money to do whatever. I don't. So if I get a question from you and I don't respond, please don't get upset with me. That's what happened with this individual. He got upset at me because apparently I didn't respond him sending me. That's where we're, where this was at. Okay, I asked for a little bit of help. He went off on me. I'm not going to ask for your help here. If you decide to, you know, the links below. It always is. Okay, but you know what? I I don't want to say that you know say this, but honestly, I don't. I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. Mm. To get back to what I was saying, I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. I'm doing this because I have a need to share information. I'm doing this because at the end of the day, when I can put out a video that changes somebody's life, that is absolutely amazing to me. I don't think a lot of people kind of, you know, understand when, you know, the amount of people's lives that these videos have changed. I don't get a ton of viewership. I don't have a ton of uh, people watching my videos. You know, I don't have a ton of subscribers. You know, I barely qualify as a, you know, as a moderately successful YouTuber, okay? I'm on the very low end of this stuff, okay? And, but the bottom line is, my videos are not appointment viewing. People don't, you know, wait in anticipation for my videos, okay? There are pe they wait, you know, the people who, who go to my videos, they find them. It, it, it's like they're, they're looking for information in a, in a sea of stupidity and they happen to click on this one random guy who happens to be able to say something to them that makes them change their lives. I mean, like I, I've stated in the past, I know that I have created relationships, I have destroyed relationships, I have gotten people into this lifestyle, I've gotten people out of bad relationships. You know, do you know dangerous relationships? Okay, you know I, I, you know I made it very clear that you know what, my my videos are kind of just sitting there on a shelf waiting to be viewed. Okay, it's like walking into a library and digging through the catalog and going, oh, that's a book I want to read. Let me go right, go do that. That's what my videos are for. Now, where I get half of my topics are from you people, which I appreciate. And also from the people who just randomly find me and ask me a question. The other half come from real world stuff, from news articles or from things that happen in the media or something that I think is a relevant topic that yeah, and then yeah, and then on on that spectrum also is just also just random things that come into my head. What about this? What about that? Things that no one's asked me, but I think are interesting topics, and I talk about them. And some of my most successful videos have been just that. Uh, probably my most successful video is my slave contracts video. Nobody asked me to do that video. I just got sick and tired of seeing the garbage that was on the internet. And since I've made that video, the amount of those really horrible contracts have drastically declined. Okay? I did a video a while back called The Rise of the Switch. And the thing about it is, is that it's now becoming a topic within the community. I don't, I did not hear anybody talking about this prior to me doing the video. Now, can I say that it was me that was the one who brought 
this topic up as a conversation with the community? No, I can't. But I'm not going to say that there isn't somebody who heard it, who saw my video, and then started talking to somebody else, and started talking to somebody else, and started talking to somebody else, and something happened. It's not the first time that this has happened in my life. It's not the first time that I've done something. I like one, you know, one, you know, one class that a few people saw. Next thing I know, you know, a couple of years later, I see people who don't even know who the hell I am doing that thing I did in that class. And that was something that I created in, you know, created and first showed off in, in a class. This has happened multiple times now in my life. I can at least count three of them. There are three different types of things that exist in this community that I see people do now that I know for a fact were things that me or me and a friend created that then now are now things that people do in the community. So whether you like what, like it or not, this is just how my life is. I don't expect to ever be in the pantheon people of the King community. Okay? I'm not that guy. I'm the guy who sits there and just little things underneath gives a little bit of information, gives a little bit of info and can kind of help people who need it. You know, there's people, YouTubers out there that have much, much larger, you know, audiences than I do. Okay, and some of them I watch their videos and I completely agree with them. Some of them I watch their videos and I disagree with them. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm just going to do what I do. I don't ever claim to be the voice of BDSM. I don't ever claim to be the voice of kink. What I am is just some guy who happens to have been doing this for a very long time. Who happens to have some information that I like to share. And if that's something that somebody can, you know, somebody can, you know, gain some knowledge from and help them, you know, into this lifestyle and go on to do amazing things, awesome. That's, you know, you, you know, for every person that you, that you know in the world, there's 20 other people who are just as good, but you don't know who they are. I just happen to be one of those guys. So... I know I'm going off on a rant here, but you know what? That's what you know. That's what I what I what I do. So this is you know, it's not my longest rant I've ever done. Trust me, I've had very long rants, and I want to get back to doing some more in-depth stuff about kink. And I think when I move to the Bay Area. I'll have a chance to sit and have a hell of a lot more new stuff to talk about. Because I'll get a chance to get back into the community and be around people and things will come up and I'm, I've got a rule now for that. It's a six week rule. If I see something at a club or an event and I want to talk about it, I might shoot the video right, you know, right when I think about it. But I'm not going to be releasing it to anybody for at least six weeks. I want to give a si at least a six week, if not more, six weeks, two months window from when this thing happened and when I thought about it to when I'm actually going to post a video. And this is to protect the people in the community that I'm going to be involved with. It's also to protect myself because I don't want to be accused of what I was accused of here. And I still will eventually get back to do that um, that video that I that, that caused all the issues in the first place. Um, I will get back because everything I said in there, um, outside of the example which I, which spurned the story, or which spurned the the conversation, uh, is a very valid, very very valid conversation, very valid points. Nothing I said was, you know, was wrong. You know, it just happened to be that, you know, the, some of the people who saw it didn't like what I had to say. So, <sighs> yeah. So, I'm going to get back to drinking my Mountain Dew. going to be talking to Dandy. 
and I'm going to go and stop this video and I'm going to edit it and upload it and that's it for now. Uh, in a couple days, I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to be heading towards California. So we'll see what happens. That's it for now. Be well and safe.